Hello everyone, it's Vinny here from Football Shares. In today's episode, I'm here to talk about Rangers 5, Hearts nil. Well, it was a very good game to watch if you're a Rangers fan because the start was very fast. You know, we just opened the score in the second minute and we kept going forward and going through. Hearts seemed like a little bit committed to defend and stop some passings when Rangers was going through the attack. But by the end of the day, that didn't work out any good. You know, I backed that Sander Clark was so disappointed with his defense. And John Suter was feeling a little bit controversial when he saw his current team kicking the sh out of his old team, which is Hearts. But to see Rangers performing really offensively, and getting a proper score like that, when we need that to extend the lead and extend the goal to difference, it's very good. Now we're gonna put a lot of pressure and the uh, bad guys from the East End, which are gonna travel to um, Lanarkshire tomorrow to face Marwell. But talking about Rangers, well, the game was really, really good and enjoyable sports. You know, Rangers quite offensive and 3 0 until the half time. You know, Oscar Cortes proving that he's dealing with the job he was given by the manager and Diomande as well scoring. And Dessers got a proper double and to finish. Um, Fabio Silva scored as well, our Portuguese striker. Scored his third goal for Rangers now. And uh, yes, dominance, total dominance from the Rangers. You know, uh, most possession, most shots, most shots on target, obviously, and obviously more goals as well. So um, the league now, the league, our first place now in the league is extend for five points. And yes, the other guys are under pressure. And I'm definitely sure that the following games, we were going to go through all of them and we have to focus in Liga Europa as well, and focus on the league, which is like, it's a little bit complicated. And unfortunately, Todd Cantwell, he's injured. He's gonna be out for three or four weeks. He makes a huge difference in the team, but seems like today he wasn't so missed since we just like bashed Haas 5-0. But yes, there will be some games ahead of us that we're gonna notice how important and crucial Todd Cantwell can be. But anyway, we have a strong midfield with Nico Raskin. We do have um, Diomande. We do have Cortez. Unfortunately, some of our very good players are injured, like Sima, Danilo, and Cantwell now. But, well, by the end of the day, in these uh, winter transfer window, we could get some right players in the right positions that conveniently are dealing with... Um, what they're supposed to do in a proper way when some of the players, the crucial players we had for the beginning of the seasons are injured right now. Because if it wasn't for Sima, and if it wasn't for some of actions of Cantwell and Danilo, these three injured chairs, we wouldn't be leading the league by now. But fortunately, Philippe Clement had a proper reading of the game and he chose the right players for the right positions that could substitute these players and today's game just showed that. And the latest games have been showed that as well, you know. But yeah, that's pretty much it, you know. That's pretty much it. All we have to talk about, all I had to talk about today was how good in offensive Rangers was. There wasn't a huge fight against us. Yes, they had some defensive commitment in the beginning of the game. But at some point when we scored the second, they all fall up to pieces. And the other two goals that came... In the second time, just show that the game sell, the game deed, you know, that's all. So that's pretty much for today, everybody. And Scotland won the rugby as well. That's very good. So um, don't forget that this video is sponsored by the Shirt Guy UK. The link is in the description right here. Hit like button and subscribe to the channel. We are football sheds, we are rangers, super rangers, no one like us, and we don't care. Top of the league.